everything has been destroyed. That's what people in Puerto Rico are telling us this morning after Hurricane Maria ripped across their island. That storm blew the roofs off their homes and tore their lives literally apart. So obviously they're still trying to pick up the pieces. It's difficult, though. Our Anna Carrera joins us with the work being done now to put things back together after Hurricane Maria. And a lot of Hoosiers down there helping, too. Anna. Yeah, absolutely. This is something that hits really close to home, especially for people who have family who live down there on the island. And uh, we caught up with a woman who brought the flavors of Puerto Rico to Indy when she opened up a cafe. Most of Maria Bertram's family still lives on the island. And after the storms rolled through, it took about a week for her to get in touch with her dad, but it finally happened. I was here at the shop and I was so excited. I was almost started crying because I was able to hear him on the phone. So I was very emotional. Yeah, understandably so. Now Maria and other Hoosiers are planning donation drives to help their loved ones and others in need. She says they're hoping and praying that everyone on the island will recover quickly. The devastation there, as you can see in those pictures, still widespread. Millions of people without electricity, cell service, or even running water. And we've seen other stories like this. Families really struggling to reach their loved ones, including one that was featured on the NBC Nightly News last night. Someone from Indianapolis trying to get in touch with their loved ones. Uh, we've got that on our website and many other stories. Um, just that really hit home how much this is impacting people, even here in Indiana, sure. about what's going on there. I mean, there. they've estimated the damage at $35 billion. I mean, you're going to have to ha have help globally to, to even start to prepare that. Anna, thank you very much.